delicious bed. Ugh. your silk bonnet, Lou. You mean my silk nuts and bolts holder? <laughs> Lunella Lafayette. It's time you took proper care of your hair. But that's what I've got you for. You know you love doing it. I do, baby. But don't even try it. You're 13. Old enough to know that to love your hair is to love yourself. Oh, come on, Ma. It's just hair. <gasps> just hair? Just hair? Ugh, not... The Lunella Wall of Fame. fame. I look at this and remember who you were in each moment. Here, you were my curious, curly-haired baby. My talented and twisted first grader. My bold and braided fourth grader. My calculating and cornrowed seventh grader. Please stop. See, it's not just hair, sweetie. It's a part of you. So when you take your school picture in a few days, these precious puffs will help us remember who you are right now. Well, right now, I'm the girl who's going to be late for school. <laughs> I should get dressed first. Oh, Lafayette! Hey, uh, I may need an assist on the lesson today, like you may need to teach it. Oh, you know I got you, Coach Herbeck. Case, since when are you in this science class? Oh, I'm not. I just needed a consult on my picture day outfit. Sunny! Always go spicy. But I still don't get all the fuss about picture day. My mom went in on me about how my hair looked this morning. That's ridiculous. Right? Thank you, girl. I mean, your hair always looks messy like that. Uh, say what now? Like how it stands on end, all frizzy. But that's the look you're going for, right? Don't listen to her, Lou. Yo, clueless, after school, in my office. Okay, so robots, we're building them. Her to try a new hairstyle for picture day. More fly and less frizz. Lunella, your hair is fly as it is. Yeah, but I need picture day fly, you know. <gasps> I need some of that. For the record, I love your natural hair. But since you insist, welcome to my lab. <gasps> Your brand new do uh, more like yo to your bad fro. It's way too poofy, Casey. Yeah, the curls are strong with this one. Maybe you should leave this to the professionals with the hair goop. Uh, a relaxer? Oh no, my mama is not having it. She's scared of the chemicals for some reason. Mm, what's this, mom? Uh! If only some super genius could bioengineer a mega strength hair straightening product without the harsh chemicals. <gasps> Wait a minute! Moon Girl Magic! What do you mean you have a bad feeling? I have to do this! Give my creation! No! Yes! Yes! A little healthy? Shh, Casey, Casey, shh. 
My bad. Okay, I'm done. ¿Qué te pasó? I thought you weren't going to use harsh chemicals. Well, yeah. I made my all-natural hair straightener, but I supercharged it and somehow changed the molecular structure. Just say you used too much juice. I used too much doggone juice. Yeah, you did. You guys okay? I heard yelling. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, Mom. Yeah, we're fine. We're just screaming and giggling like normal teenage girlies who aren't hiding anything. <laughs> it's so fun being a youth. <laughs> hey, I... <laughs> Who gave you that ridiculous lid? <gasps> the hat from our matching Halloween costumes. I knew you'd come around. <laughs> Should I get mine? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get mine. What is going on in here? We're uh having a uh, silly, silly hat contest. <laughs> See, <laughs> we're fun in here. So you guys uh, go do you <laughs> out there. You know, Lou, bald is not a bad look on you. Uh. Seriously, it brings out your eyes. Oh, my family cannot find out about my hair. Your picture day is coming? Oh, my mom is gonna wig out. <gasps> That's it. Let's just say I went through a wig phase. You're so weird, Casey. Thank goodness. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Krista. Nope. Melba. Oh, yikes. Roxy. Whack. Dish. Right. Veruca. Crazy. Sheba. <gasps> yes. Oh, welcome home, Sheba. Duty calls. Time to take my girl for a test drive. You won't catch me, Moon Girl. I am the baddest that's ever been, baby. Master D, Rock and Beauty's getting away in that souped up coop. <laughs> for these jewels or not. I ain't gonna just give them to you. Later, Gator. <laughs> oh, oh, can't see. Have a nice trip. on the hair I found as we speak. I'll know who's behind the sabotage by the time my robot takes first place. Speaking of which, girl, why are you still in my science class? It's fun. Don't worry, I'm not learning anything. Hey, your hair is pretty now. Aw, uh, thanks, girly, but I prefer fierce. So fierce? Rawr. All right, all right, game day, people. Let's see those robots. Ooh, even I know this isn't right. Someone's out to get me, and they used hair to destroy my robot. See? I just need more time to- More time? Can't believe I'm saying this, but you're out! Oh, no! Uh, according to your pocket thingy, this is your hair! What's that smell? Sheba! <gasps> Sheba! Oh, are you cooking something, baby girl? No, I'm, I'm not really cooking. Oh, it's okay. Midnight snacking runs in our family. Why is that awful smell coming from my kitchen? Mimi, don't make her feel bad. Ooh, that Sheba smells great, Lunella. No, no, guys, I... But who's Sheba? It's that stuff she's cooking. She's not cooking. She's burning. Here, yeah. let me help you, child. What y'all doing? Well, I'm getting a bowl of that Sheba, because I am hungry. Everybody, stop! I... I spent a lot of time on my Sheba soup, and I'd really like to eat it alone. Please? Okay. Oh, so she can have a whole pot of soup, but when I don't want to share my birthday cake, it's a problem. Whew. Okay, that was too close. Casey, so sorry.
sorry to bug you this late, but you're not gonna believe this. Oh, I am wide awake. Someone trashed Coiffier de KC and oh, they cut my wigs to shreds. No, they didn't. Oh, it's gonna take me days to give each of them a proper send off. I'll see you at picture day. You always think you have more time. Oh, I'm telling you, Dee, the same person ruined my robot, made you fall, and destroyed Casey's wigs. And we're gonna search every warehouse, warm house, hen house, out house, and dog house in this city until I find me. What the? <laughs> Devil, who are you? Ah! Why, I'm your hair, Lunella. My hair? Well, I was your hair. Your naturally curly crowning glory. Now I'm the baddest supervillain there is. I'm Mane. Mane, unwittingly created when our favorite 13 year old super genius went all Dr. Frankenstein trying to bioengineer a hair streamer. Oh, wait, you already saw that part. Anyway, she really is mad, y'all. My compound did this? Dang, I created life. Huh. Black girl magic! After you burned me and ripped at me with a tiny comb, you have to use a wide tooth comb on naturally curly hair. Who doesn't know that? Well, Newton never mentioned wide tooth combs. I'm sorry, girl. Sorry? You tried to get rid of me. Replace me with some cheap wig that doesn't even have a lace front. You just decided out of the blue that I wasn't good enough. Why? Well, I... Be quiet! Answer the question. Oh, see, I, I said silence. Well, I am so confused. You turned me into a monster. Now I'll take your compound and make monsters of my own. My hair minions and I will destroy this city. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't do this. No. Your two-turn back is ruining my evil exit. You really got the worst one, girl. What's the matter, Lou? What? Oh, 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 oh. Poor baby. <laughs> Sweetheart, we live in a society that's never valued our natural hair. People tend to criticize what they don't understand, so they tell us our natural hair is sloppy, unkept, unprofessional, or even ugly. But they're wrong. Our hair is versatile, textured, beautiful, political, powerful, bold. It reflects our culture, who we are, and what we've been through. Hmm. Someone at school said my Afro puffs looked messy. And when we believe those lies and start to feel insecure about how we look, that's when the trouble starts. That's how it started with me. I wanted my hair straight so badly, but regular heat wouldn't get it straight enough. So I made that hot comb extra hot. <laughs> what I did to my hair was even worse. I gave myself a home relaxer, but I skipped an important step. And then, disaster. So that's why you're afraid of relaxers. Wait. What step did you skip? The neutralizer. It's a liquid that you put in your hair to make the chemical in the relaxer stop working. <gasps> That's it. I didn't make a neutralizer. That was my mistake. Your real mistake was letting other people make you feel bad about yourself. Always be proud of who you are, little girl, no matter what the world tells you. And remember, Lunella, if you want your hair to be good to you, you've got to be good to it. Because to love your hair is to love yourself. Where are you going? I gotta go stop main. Uh, stop maintaining these hurt feelings and start taking better care of my hair. <laughs> Bye. I did it, devil! Ah! <laughs> <laughs>
I reverse the electrostatic attraction between the oppositely charged ions of my original compound. In other words, I made a neutralizer because I'm dope. Now, all we gotta do is find Maine's hideout, spray her with this juice, and she goes back to being a big old normal hairball. The hair layer? Ugh, that's so mean. Remember, a sneak attack is our best chance, so I'll go in here and you go in through the alley, quietly. Neutralizer? To stop you, Maine. Devil Dryasaur, attack! Devil Dryasaur? You jammed a dryer full of hair and brought it to life with my compound? I needed a sidekick to laugh at my jokes, which he would if he understood them, but he's not that smart. But he is vicious. He and I together will destroy... Oh, man. <laughs> Look, me. your sidekick was no match for Devil, and you're no match for me! Oh, really? How about now? I'm lost, and I can't see no Can't find my way, no okay. Can't find my way, no Stuck in the trap, stuck in the city, ain't no pity where I'm at. No GPS, but I'm still on the map. Curve y'all, no curveball, I'm still up the back. Uh. Put the world on my back, I'm a globe trotter. No the blaze on the stage, cause my flow hotter. I gotta find my direction, put my goals in perspective. I'm in route to connection, feeling like a detective. I'm in search for the clue. Keeping things together, I'm in search of the glue. From the concrete, I grew just like a rose. When the scene change, I guess so does your roll. Being lost, I suppose. I'm just trying to find my way. One thing that I know. Devil. Well, what? What did he say? That we're too evenly matched, and I'm gonna be here forever fighting myself. Wait, I I'm fighting myself. Always be proud of who you are, little girl, because to love your hair is to love yourself. you anymore, Maine, because you're a part of me. I was a part of you until you ruined it. Actually, you were one of the best parts. My hair helped make me, me. You never took care of me. You never gave a hair flip about me. I know. Okay, you're right. I took you for granted. I didn't know I could lose you until you were gone. I'm not falling for your trickery, Moon Girl. It's not a trick, okay? When that girl made fun of me, I felt ashamed. That's why I made the stupid compound. But when I wore that straight hair, it just, it wasn't me. I miss my natural hair. You do? Sure. <laughs> I miss how my curls bounced and how my hair fit perfectly inside my helmet. My signature style makes me look adorable and managed to stay on point no matter how fast I skate. <sighs> I miss all of that, Maine. And I miss you. I miss you too, Lonella. We were a great team, and we will be again. <laughs> Go ahead, Big Red. Come on now, I'm moving on a whole nother level. Gotta catch up to my speed. You ain't gotta gas me up. I never leave my tank on E. I look at myself in the mirror. I tell you what I see. Beautiful brown with a big old smile. I'm coming in strong. To me, Lunella, and I'll be good to you. My hair's a mood, it's my attitude. I could wear curly in the spring and the summer. 
gorgeous. Ooh, muy bonita. I still can't believe you made an instant hair growth serum. Now that's some black girl magic. Right? Oh, that's my girl. Don't y'all stay up too late. Sorry I missed all 67 of your wig funerals. You okay? It was time to let them go. And besides, at least I still have Sheba. Where is she, by the way? <gasps> Sheba!